ABML stock, American Battery Metals Corp. It closed the session of the 3rd of August 2021 at $1.57. And currently, uh, we have it that uh, we have a position there. We have that uh, the stock has, uh, it's pretty much consolidating. It's been trading between $1.5 and $2.5 since May, I think, since sometime in May. It's been consolidating, just moving sideways, you know, uh, because I think among other things, um, um, there's uh, the skepticism towards the stock, you know. Um, it, I mean, yeah, just just skepticism towards the stock and um, this um, um, infrastructure bill. Nobody's um, it hasn't really uh, filtered into um, American battery metals, you know. So it hasn't, um, um, yeah, really filtered to through to the stock. You know, the sentiment concerning the bill. The bill hasn't really been passed, so maybe maybe that's why it hasn't. Um, really um, um done well it has been just consolidating you know it hasn't um we saw sometime in january or there about it which uh this high of about um four point was uh, what was that over four dollars you know but since that time we have we have not really come anywhere close you know so um you can see a market cap of 899.2 million dollars even though you can see so that uh, gives you an idea of uh, what it was before. Um, yeah, somewhere, obviously, somewhere at some point it may have been uh, more obviously more than one billion dollars, five hundred seventy-two point seven five million shares outstanding, and we have um, a presentation here by the uh, company. This was uh, lodged or rather filed yesterday, the third of August. So we have a presentation and everything you have here according to them is a forward looking statement. You can see that it's just this, you can see that the scene here, it's a disclaimer. And uh, you don't have to, all the things that I have uh, stated here in this presentation does not mean that uh, they will materialize, you know, so you have to um, just bear that in mind. Okay, you see. What's going on here? This is their company. They're saying uh, they are a global leader in critical, in the critical material and lithium-ion battery recycling space. The company is focused on developing technologies for the circular economy, required for the, for the global energy transition by treating spent battery, batteries as a valuable resource instead of uh, hazardous waste, producing, providing the United States with its first premier domestic source of lithium, nickel, cobalt, and manganese. So the closed closed loop uh, circular economy, recycling, extraction, resource stewardship. So um, maybe amongst other things, uh, this sort of a big business model is also why um, some analysts are quite skeptical. You know, relying strictly or largely on the recycling uh, makes it a bit skeptical for um, certain analysts amongst other things. You know. And then the investment highlights is uh, growing markets for battery recycling, award-winning process, battery recycling, metal extraction, partnerships with industry leaders, building the first non-thermal battery recycling plant in the U.S., and highly experienced uh, team. So amongst other things, if I can remember now, they're, they are not exactly the leader in this space as well. That's also another issue as well, you know. So. Um, Opportunity EV opportunity EV sales uh, growth. Okay, so down here we have the the team. The teams uh, the team are largely from Tesla and uh, Georgia Pacific. Okay, that's that's the team here. That's the team system. See here, guy Ryan uh, Melsart, Chief Technology Officer, former R and D manager at uh, Tesla. Tesla. He's um, leading the system design and the process design. August Meng. Uh, principal chemical engineer from R and D engineer Tesla, construction design Chuck Leber, lead project manager from construction manager Tesla, system procurement uh, Chris uh, Gustafson, lead procurement manager from procurement manager Tesla, operations is uh, Andres Meza, chief operating officer from our process engineer at Georgia Pacific, GSM at um, um, Apple slash manager at uh, McKinsey. And then they have uh, a new guy there, former leader, analytical chemist at uh, Tesla, quality control. 
so yes you'll find a link to this presentation in the description box below and so moving on moving on moving on we can see that uh, the stock is uh, like we indicated earlier on consolidating and that is exactly what um, the readout here is uh, seem to be indicating uh, only if we can get it going if we can get this readout going 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 Yes, it appears to be consolidating within a longer term uptrend. The average direction, directional index is uh, below 20, indicating that shares have uh, traded sideways recently. However, the 200 day moving average is still sloping bullishly upwards. Yes, it is uh, sloping bullishly upwards. Yes, that's the case, uh, which is uh, which also underscores the underlying trend, that the underlying trend is still very much a bullish one. So, uh, based on the comparative relative uh, strength analysis, it is uh, lagging the S&P 500. Uh, momentum for American battery metals, ABML, is strongly bearish. The 14 period slows to classical oscillator is below 20, the level which many analysts call oversold, consider that oversold, below 20. Um, this means that investors have been actively selling shares and driving the price lower. There's no doubt about that. The unbalanced volume indicator is bearish. The slope of that indicator is negative and suggests that there is a lack of buying interest. So this is the, this is the unbalanced volume indicator, but yes, they're saying that the slope is negative and suggests that there is a lack of buying interest. And we can evidently see that now. The stock has never really, never really, really since uh, the last one year, never has it ever traded below its 200 day moving average. So this is a record and this it's it broke into this uh, new record this new 52 week record 52 week record in um, sometime a few days ago I think I sat the, the 29th of uh, July that may, may, may have been when it occurred as that's that was a Thursday so it's just it's it's you know it's a very 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 narrow sideways movement it had in the last few trading sessions so technically technically I think easily the stock is a buy you know indeed there is a lot of skepticism including short um, short skepticisms towards the stock um yes um amongst other things you know it's facing that's the this the headwind of um, skepticism towards it and the infra infrastructure infrastructure structure bill hasn't um, um really done it any um any good as such you know it hasn't uh, benefited as such from it um, in the past it may have it may have uh, but um, right now we are not seeing anything this may have been why the infrastructure bill may have been the reason why we saw the spike here yeah, sometime in the past but um right now um people market participants are just very much skeptical and um yes um amongst other things they are not the leader in that space and s relying solely on uh, recycling is not exactly um it doesn't um it really doesn't give it a lot of confidence as such you know so amongst other things you know there could be other reasons we haven't uh, been able to find out so technically for us it is a buy and um without any you know any any equivocation you know but at the same time as well um it could also continue to even retrace and retrace and retrace you know okay so Decide what it is for you as it concerns uh, ABML stock. Okay, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.